Hello and welcome to another episode of GoTo Tech Views. Today we're going to be taking a look at Noxua's premium CPU cooler, the NHD15. Okay, so before we get started, I'm actually going to do this uh, particular set of series in parts. Uh, so I will be comparing uh, air coolers against uh, all-in-one liquid coolers uh, and take a look at the advantages of price, per performance, and per noise. Um, but the first one we're going to start with here is we're just going to do a, an overview here of Noxua's NHD15. So let's go over some of the features that it has. So there is a six heat pipe dual tower design. Uh, so it's supposed to give it more surface area and better heat dissipation and allow better airflow, especially with dual fans. Uh, so it comes with dual NF A15 140 millimeter fans. Uh, so this allows a better airflow through uh, the fins. Uh, so there is also high RAM compatibility, so it can uh, provide 64 millimeters of clearance uh, for memory if you just have a single fan. So if you just have the single fan in the middle and not uh, covering up the memory areas. But when you have the fans covering up the memory area, it allows standard uh, RAM height up to 32 millimeters. So the, the fin stack is also, you know, kind of where Noxua really excels here and has been widened from 140 to 150 millimeters um, and the heat pipes are now spaced farther apart. So another thing to mention with this type of CPU cooler is not only does it provide good cooling for the CPU itself, it also provides uh, cooling for the components around on the motherboard, including the VRMs and memory modules as well. So keep that in mind when you're, when you're considering water cooling versus uh, air cooling. Uh, with the water cooling, you typically have that uh, CPU block and the heat is taken away through the pipes up to the radiator or over to the radiator and the fans are usually there. So the, the, there's not any component of air around the actual CPU block or the surrounding components. So that's one other thing to keep in mind, especially if you're in a tighter case and don't have a lot of other airflow going on. So keep that in mind. One major advantage that air CPU coolers have is there are less points of failure. Since it's so big, if the fans were to go out, uh, it would still be dissipating heat from passive cooling methods uh, from your case fans. And with this particular one, if you're using both fans, if one goes out, you're not really losing a whole lot of ability to move air across the, the heat stack. So anyways, uh, without further ado, uh, we're going to do just an unboxing here and take a look at what we've got here with the NHD15. Now I've built with this uh, CPU cooler before. It's absolutely massive. And really, the camera doesn't do it any justice. It, it's a pleasure to build with. Uh, the installation method is really quite intuitive. And I've, I've had some other CPU coolers that were very difficult to install. Yeah, so let's open this up. So it's protected by some nice soft foam padding here. So here you have the SecuFirm 2 mounting system. Uh, so this is for Intel parts. We'll set that aside here. And then you have it, uh, the parts for AMD as well. So it will be compatible with both. Uh, they also mentioned too that if there is a future socket, that there will be upgrade kits available through Noxua that way. So with some other accessories, it comes with a screwdriver type thing. If you don't have one of those, uh, it comes with a Y splitter for because you have two fans to connect to the PWM on your motherboard. There's also the low noise adapter, and there's also uh, some thermal paste in there as well as, as well as some brackets for your fans. So the fans are packaged separately. So this is the NFA15 PWM fan. And there are two of these, and I believe they're the same. I'm not really a fan of the Noxua color scheme of brown and I don't even know what that is, tan, light tan. 
Anyways, I, I've never really enjoyed this color, but it is pretty distinctive and you know that this is an Aqua fan when you see it. Um, but looks aside, we know it's gonna perform great. So we've got that out. And the other fan actually comes installed on it already. So this is the, the actual heat sink box itself. Pretty big and heavy. That's good here. Okay, so just a couple numbers uh, that are important here, especially when you've got uh, smaller cases. Uh, so the clearance, uh, vertical clearance, is 165 millimeters with the fans installed. Uh, but without the fan, it stands at 160 millimeters. But of course you're gonna want the fan on there. So check your case numbers, uh, 165 or greater. I've heard that people have been able to stick them into the Fractal Design Nano S with some luck. I may give that a go later. I haven't decided yet, but may as well. So let's go ahead and take this off. And here she is. Man, that thing's huge. As you can see, uh, it already comes configured with a single fan in it. Here you can see the, the six heat pipes. And you'll notice here on the side that the, it's actually covered. And I believe that's to allow A, more surface area, and B, uh, more air to be able to pass through, more targeted through the fan area. Okay, so now that we've tested the NHD15 against other CPU coolers out there, we can see that this is right up there with the all-in-one in terms of overall cooling performance. I mean, we're talking within a degree, which is margin of error territory. I have installed all sorts of CPU coolers over the years, and this is by far the easiest. Something else I wanted to uh, talk about is that if you wanted to uh, shave down the noise a little bit more, at the cost of a couple degrees is they uh, include these low noise adapters which will bring it down from 1500 RPM to 1200 RPM. So when you're building with the NHD15 you have to do some planning. Uh, you're gonna have to keep in mind the height of the cooler which is 165 millimeters with the fans installed. Uh, so that restricts a lot of cases out there so be sure to look at that number. And also you're gonna have, I would highly recommend getting low profile uh, memory sticks so that you don't have to either take this fan off which will lower your performance or put it in kind of a wonky position. In terms of aesthetics, and this is just my personal opinion, I don't think that the NHD15 looks very good in cases that have a side panel window because it covers up a lot of the motherboard and its components 
and the overall color scheme does not go very well with most builds out there. So I would recommend putting this in a case that has a side panel with uh, sound dampening on it because this is an already quiet CPU cooler and that extra sound dampening will make it even quieter. So if you want the best air CPU cooling performance, look no further than the uh, Noctua NHD15. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and you can support us by using the Amazon affiliate links below. And there should be a link in the description for the NHD15 in there as well. And if you want to, you can follow me on Twitter so you can see uh, what I'm up to and some of the latest projects that I'm working on. And as always, thanks for watching and we will catch you next week.